members of April 6 hostilities in Morovia, the name St. Patrick High School, we may say, has been sleeping. Um, as the representative of the elders said, yes, under the sun, there is the moment, there is the season. Um, for the past 14 years, um, the church in the um, office, through the office of our bishop, Michael Fitz Francis, has never said that St. Patrick is dead. All right? And members of the Association of St. Patrick know this very well. So this is the moment, this is the season, that today, in a very significant way, we're having this activity of groundbreaking ceremony. There were attempts before to secure other properties for this project in a single area, etc., etc., but it never worked. We hope it had worked. Maybe that was not the time. A little over two years ago, Mr. Um, Canley, in consultation with his consultants, offered this um, property of the church for the restoration of St. Patrick. Um, so, with the renewed spirit of collaboration, partnership, for those who obtain quality education from St. Patrick in collaboration with the effort from the Lady of St. Teresa Convent, we show that the spirit will continue. A little over a year ago, at the level of the Cali Education Secretariat, we um, contracted Milton and Rachel. Uh, before then, we did, we got a certified surveyor from the Ministry of Lands and Mines to resurvey this property. That was done, and we contracted Milton and Riches to come and look at the property, map it out, give us an architectural blueprint. Um, they consulted with us as to the type of facilities to have, classroom facilities, maybe for every grade level, I mean class level, uh, two classrooms from seven to 12 grade, uh, three science laboratories, chemistry, physics, biology, auditorium, cafeteria area, and then in the future on the side of the church, uh, there will be spaces left earmarked for residences, uh, if we are blessed for any group of uh, teaching brothers, congregation of brothers or sisters that will help the church to man this uh, school property, to manage it. Um, aside from the residency and the chapel area, where the school facilities the cost, as was done by Milton and Richard's place, at about 2.7 million U.S. dollars. Yes. So it is a mighty effort or project and could be very scary, but with faith. And we are sure that it can be done. This is the beginning point, And the seed, of course, in a symbolic way, is being planted today. So we want to thank all of you for your collaborative effort, those of you who are at home, those of us who are at home, those who are abroad, and we hope that in our time, most of us, this dream will become a reality. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Bishop Louis Ziegler, acting Bishop of the Cali Ash Council of Nigeria. Representative of government official present, fellow graduates and former student of St. Patrick S.T. Smith, St. Teresa's Convent, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today's event comes to be considered as a breaking news for educational sector in Nigeria. It is indeed a good news for the rest of us who have, who have had restless years since St. Patrick's were closed. Some years ago. We come to this event. With St. Patrick's today, we see that there is hope that St. Patrick's will, will come again and start to hit and do it right so that our 85% will grow. To my brothers and my sisters out here today, I say thank you. It's been too long since we've been fighting to get this thing done. Let today not be the end, because 
with no that we've only just begun. In 2007, in 2007, when we took over, we knew that this was something that we had to do. So the two associations came together with the assistance of FICO, uh, Mr. Alexander Anderson, who was also a principal, former principal of St. Patrick's, Patrick Boris, Thomas Lewier, and uh, St. Patrick's High School Alumni Association, St. Patrick's Children's Assembly, USA. We came together with our brothers and sisters in Liberia. And with the help of Tonya Alpha and Ms. Gibson, Cleo Gibson, we all joined forces for what we see here today. Let this not be the end to Archbishop Lugo, for a man who, after talking to him for a few minutes, I know that Cabinet Press is about to see a new change. It will not be what we saw before. He is one who says a little, but the little he says is so profound that you can you, you, you do nothing but just think about what he said. So. I know his heart is in the right place. His heart is with education, and this is the time for all of us to take advantage of it. Mr. Nangwe calls some figures. Don't let us be scared, as he said, one brick at a time, one block at a time, one stick at a time, one person at a time, one penny at a time, one dollar at a time. We can make, it, we can make the walls go up. Let's use our talents. We have talents. We came through these walls. We have God-given talents. Those talents, great teachers let us recognize our talents, and they work with us. We have engineers among us. We have architects. We have teachers. So all of us can do something. As someone say, we may all not be able to do great things, but we can do little things in a great way, and that's what we keep us going. I thank you. I've participated in more than 600 programs in my lifetime. And I've always dreaded being the last to speak when it came to remarks. I've dreaded this because sometimes you are so overzealous about what you want to say that you think almost about everything. Only to come to a program, being the last to speak, and then everybody would have said everything. <laughs> so what do you do? <laughs> you find yourself left with nothing to say. Because to summarize all the beautiful speeches and remarks, we make us stay here another two hours. I have a very retentive head, and I could do that for you. I think you don't want for me to waste your time. <laughs> so, as soon as I advise her, I will advise and make the program short. Like I told someone this afternoon in a telephone conversation, I said, Come, he left St. Patrick's in the ninth grade. And he was wondering whether he would be welcomed here or whether he would fit in this program. I said, look, the program today is not for St. Patrick's High School. It is not for St. Teresa's Convent. It is not for those who went through our walls just briefly, or those who graduated. The program here today is for Liberia. <laughs> because what we're trying to revive, what we're trying to bring back to our nation is that legacy of academic excellence that no one has overpassed since St. Patrick was born. 